We here. I just wanted to thank you for watching my dog the other day. Oh, it was nothing. Thank you. You know I love your cupcakes. Oh my gosh, they look delicious. Seriously, you could sell these. Wait, how do I start a business? Hello. Welcome. What would you like to ask Adal today? Thank you. Can you tell me how to start a business? Okay, that not that the million dollar question? So, my name is Mario Hayek, uh, and I'm the Dean of the College of Business at Texas A&M University Commerce. My background has mainly been in entrepreneurship, I have a BBA in marketing. I have an MBA in finance and in entrepreneurship. I played a broker on Wall Street for a couple years. And then I uh, started a number of businesses. It was uh, a hotel, several restaurants, bar, travel agency, and I own some commercial real estate in South America. And I've also done business here in, in the US. And all of that was prior to me having my my PhD. Thank you for answering my question. Well, first of all, I'd like to say, of course, that could take you years to figure out, right? But bottom line, it's it's mostly about the the opportunity. There has to be a need in the market. You know, when you get together with, with family or friends and you complain about things, well, gee, I wish that something were one way or gee, I wish something were a different way or I'm not happy with this product or I'm not happy with this service, right? So, so you're trying to identify something that people really need. Either they notice that they need it or they, they don't notice, but they still need it, right? So, so a key to all of this, step number one would be, you know, you have to identify a need in the market. There has to be an opportunity. Gotcha. But of course that's not enough, right? Because there could be a need, but are you able to create a structure right? An organization, a business to satisfy that need. Hmm. And that's probably where you're going to spend most of your time because people say they need a bunch of different things, but the question becomes, can you pull it off? Right. And, and that's when you start talking about business plans and, and different aspects of a business to figure out a business model. Can you conceptualize? Can you think of a structure to be able to pull off and, and give to the public what they need in a viable way, in a sustainable way? That makes sense. So that's the second key. You really have to determine the business model because it has to be sustainable. And if you haven't figured that out, you know, all you have is just kind of a neat idea. That's why when you watch shows like Shark Tank, right? What they're really trying to go after is, did you find the, the secret sauce, right? Did you find out really how you can pull this off time and time again? Okay. Right? You also have to figure other stuff out, like how do you fund your business, right? Do you have the funds? Can you get a loan? Are there investors you can go to, right? There's a bunch of questions there. Also, where is it going to be located? What's the business name? You also need to obtain an employer identification number or an EIN, right? And in some places, you also need a tax ID. You also have to apply for licenses and permits, and you need to open a bank account. So, of course, it's a huge process, and you know, it's an elaborate process and it's long. And of course, it's risky. Thanks so much for your help. Thanks again for asking Adele. Good luck. <laughs>